I'm Tim. You've just put your new Firebox X Edge into your network and worked through the quick setup wizard. Now what? This series of videos will help you go beyond the factory default settings and create strong perimeter security for your organization. Along the way, if I use any terminology you don't understand, you can learn the definition from the Live Security Glossary at watchguard.com slash glossary. First up, let's look at your network settings. One way of thinking about your network is to see it as three segments, trusted, external, and optional. The trusted segment is the primary network you want to protect. In contrast, the external network is everybody else, usually connecting to your network over the Internet. Finally, the Edge enables you to set up an optional or DMZ segment, which you also protect, but typically using policies different from the trusted and external segments. Most commonly, network administrators put servers here that the public can have some access to, such as a web server. Your Firebox X Edge supports all three interfaces. When you ran the Quick Setup Wizard, you set up your external interface and most of your trusted. Now it's time to finish setting up your trusted segment and decide whether you want to configure the optional. Stay tuned for some tips. When you ran the Quick Setup Wizard, behind the scenes it enabled the Edge as a DHCP server for your trusted segment. Since DHCP assigns addresses as needed, a device that comes and goes from the network, such as a laptop, could receive a different IP address every day. You probably have some devices on your network that you wish would have the same IP address all the time. The Edge can make that happen for you using a DHCP reservation. Here's how. The Edge user interface has a column on the left you can use to navigate. From now on, I'll call this the left nav. In the left nav, expand network, click on trusted, then click the DHCP reservation button. Type the IP address and MAC address of the computer whose IP address you want to remain the same, then click Add. Repeat this for as many computers as you need. Make sure to click Submit when you're done. There's one catch. You can only reserve IP addresses that are not in the range of your Edge's DHCP pool. That's because an address can't simultaneously be static, yet also be available for assignment. If the address you want to reserve falls inside the DHCP pool, you can adjust the DHCP pool's address range by going back one page. In case you haven't worked with MAC addresses, a MAC address is a unique identifier for each network interface card on a device. The manufacturer of the device assigns the MAC address. How do you learn a device's MAC address? For a Windows computer, go to Start, Run, then type cmd.exe and hit Return. At the command prompt, enter ipconfig slash all. Don't forget the space before the slash. In the IP configuration for that computer, look for the line labeled physical address. That's the MAC address. You can enter more DHCP reservations whenever you decide a computer on your network should have a static IP address. Moving on to other settings for your trusted network, you might have a Win server or an internal DNS server. If you don't know what these are, you probably don't have them. If you do have them, you want your edge to know where they are so it can pass the information to computers joining your network. So let's tell it where to find them. From the left nav, select Network Trusted. If you have a Win server on your network, add its IP address to the Win server address text box. If you have a DNS server, do the same in the DNS server address text box. While we're here, if you use a domain name internally on your network, you can specify it in the DNS domain suffix text box. Then the Edge can pass it along to new clients on your network. Click Submit to save these changes. Now all the devices on your trusted segment can take advantage of easy ways to find each other. Let's move on to settings for your optional segment. The optional network is just that optional. If you don't have any reason to set up a second network, don't. But, for example, you might want to run a separate network for guests, visiting vendors, and external business partners. Or you could use it to keep all your wireless connections off the trusted segment. If you want an optional segment, or DMZ, here's how to turn it on. From the Edge's left nav, select Network, Optional. Click the checkbox enabling the optional network. By default, the Edge assigns a subnet of 254 seats to the optional network, with an IP address starting with 192.168.112.1, which is the Edge itself. 
However, you can change this to subnet to any size you want with any IP address. Once you've tweaked the network information to your liking, decide if you want the edge to act as DHCP server on your optional segment. If you do, check Enable DHCP Server on Optional Network. If you don't want the edge to give out IP addresses from the subnet's entire network range, you can specify a pool of addresses for it to draw from. You define that range by typing addresses in the boxes labeled First Address for DHCP Server and Last Address for DHCP Server. These addresses need to fall within the subnet you defined in the IP address field above. All the other settings you specified for the trusted network can be specified for your optional segment, too. Now that your optional interface is configured, you probably want to know how to plug that segment into the edge. I'll show you. Plug your optional computers into the port labeled OPT. There's only one optional port on your edge, so if you want multiple devices on your optional network segment, plug them into a hub or a switch, and then plug that in here. That's it for your optional network. And we've also configured your trusted segment. To keep learning about Firebox X Edge network settings, watch our other videos. This is Tim saying, life is better on the edge.